Another common repair that I perform on these Husqvarna pole saws is a throttle cable. The one in question today is a two-piece throttle cable. Generally, the piece that fails is on the end right where it hooks to the car, which is generally that end. Usually fails right behind here, becomes frayed and breaks. So let's go over to the workbench and I'll show you how to change that out on this Husqvarna 525 P4S. First thing that we're gonna need to do is get this accessible. So to do that, we're gonna remove this air filter housing, this motor housing, and then the top of this plate. First, we'll remove this filter housing by just turning the knob counterclockwise. I'm gonna remove this air filter. Now, we're gonna remove this housing. That is simply done by removing this screw. Pick that up and set it off. Then we're gonna remove this top housing. Remove a screw here on the front plate. We're gonna remove the screws from this muffler housing. This muffler shroud should just pull off after you take the screws out. Then we're gonna remove the top screw on our starter assembly. Now before you pull this off, this top cover, you need to pay attention to something. You need to pay special attention to how this is rooted through that. It has a specific place that it goes. And also this backer nut that's on the second cable, we will remove that out just to unhook it. But uh, we will not be replacing this rear cable today. So make sure before you strip that out that you pay attention. And if you'll notice where that one sets down, that housing cover also sits on top of it whenever it's put in and that helps to keep that where it's supposed to be. So you need to make sure you pay attention to that because when you put it back, you're gonna need to reroute it the same way. So at this point, we should be able to lift our housing out of the way. You may have to wiggle it a little bit. Work that spark plug boot through it. The cable that we're gonna be replacing today, we're gonna disconnect from here at this joint. And then it'll run through this passage and it'll run up to this carburetor where we'll cut it loose here. Now you need to pay attention to that because that's got to go back just like it is. I'll walk you through that. So that's what we'll be changing out, this piece, all the way around to here. Where these units generally fail is right here. Watch when I pull the trigger. You see the throttle move. Now unlike a lot of the steel and echoes, the throttle cable in this runs all the way through. And then the end, which is this part here, slides through this carrier and locks into the bottom. So it stays stationary and when you move, actually what's moving is this casing as it's pulling it through. So we're gonna unhook that and I'll show you how. Come back to the rear of the unit. So generally I come around here to the rear of the machine. I lift this stop out of its spot. Go ahead, pull that cable out of its runner or out of its track. That way you got some slack in it. This connection on one side, you'll notice is open. You just tilt that and it slides loose and that frees your cable. Now to remove it from the unit, I just actuate my throttle to give me some clearance. See how I pull that down, pull that cable up, slide it out and release. Now we have to get it out of that carrier. It's not broke completely, but it is frayed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work here on the top and push down. I want you to get down here. Where you're gonna be watching is gonna be right there. You should see the other end of that cable. You see that? That is that. And there we go. And that is the end of our cable. You can see the fraying in it. 
I cleaned that slot up so you can see a little more what's going on. Right here is where we just took that cable from. That keyhole slot. That's what makes it keep it in. So what you're gonna wanna do with your new cable is drop it into that keyhole. I've cleaned that up so you can see it. That's where we took the old cable out of. You're gonna drop it through that keyhole and then pull it forward to where that it locks into that hole. I'm gonna do that one more time for you so you can see that. Then, in the same way that we took it off, I'll work that throttle down. Pulling the cable itself through the groove in the side of your throttle connector, and then let your brass piece rest in that. And then we'll come back around here, and you need to root this cable. What I do is go ahead, before you root it, and make your connection. Same way you took it apart, slide that into the hole with the opening side facing you, lock it in. We'll put our guide nut back into place. And when you re-put it into your track, the edge of your throttle casing should rest right at the beginning of that track. And then you just follow it along and put it back in. We'll give it a test. And that's it. It's that simple. The right tools, this should be about a 10 minute job.